train struggling network marketers and frustrated entrepreneurs on how to wake up to their divine soul purpose and get paid to play. And this, my friends, is the business breakthrough. Today, we're going to be talking about the following. Are you ready? Ooh. Nope, not singing, speaking. And I want you to remember back to a sport and then I'm going to give you a story. Now, this was a hardcore sport in the elementary school that I went to. Are you ready? Here's how the game went down. There were four squares. And in those four squares, one had a loop in the corner. And there were four individuals who would stand in one of each of these squares and a line of kids waiting to get into the action. The individual at the front would serve the ball and they would hit it and then it would bounce into your court and then you would hit it around. Four square, you following me? I want you to take the image of four square. Now, I was a professional four square player. By sixth grade, I was a four square champion. By sixth grade, I was a tetherball champion. Whoa. And then I got to college and I realized that everybody was a four square and a tetherball champion from my generation. So I guess it doesn't mean much. Okay, take that image in your mind. Now, I'm gonna rewind. 2003, I walk into an event and a guy is speaking by the name of Omar Beriou. Now, Omar Beriou was one of my first speaking coaches, but before I knew Omar Beriou, 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 I like to kind of say that. Omar Beriou, Beriou, Beriou. And I'm sure Neil's gonna like totally jack it up and make me do it like 92 times, but whatever. So I'm sitting there in this event, right? And I'm sitting, there's probably a thousand people in this venue. And this guy up there, Omar Beriou, this Cuban guy, is speaking, and he's incredible, like a rock star speaker. And he's speaking, 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 speaking. And I swear to you, the entire event, Omar is talking right to me. Now, it was weird. He'd be up on stage and he would look down in my area and I was like, oh my gosh, he's looking at me. Now, this was back when I was still trying to believe, right? I was trying to believe in myself. I was trying to believe. I wanted to believe I could do it as an investor. I wanted to believe, believe, believe I could do it. I wanted a hallelujah. I wanted a Amen, brother. I want it in the game, in the game, in the game. All right, that's enough. So Omar looks over at me and I'm like, he is looking at me. So the craziest thing is he gets done with the presentation. He does a call to action. He sells a product for like $2,000. Who is the first person running to the back? You better believe it was me from the front row. I pushed down a lady. I pushed three kids down. I knocked the guy out and I ran. Dead sprint all the way to the back with my credit card and I signed up. Now, about six months later, Omar was my speaking coach. And I'm hanging out with Omar and I'm like, dude, how did you know to look right at me? He's like, bro, I gotta be honest with you. I didn't even know you were in the audience. What, what, what? So here was a trick that he used and it's the four square principle of speaking. If you divide your audience up into four areas, how many? One, two, three, four. Four areas like a four square. It doesn't matter how big the group is. Five people or 500 people or 5,000 people. You divide the group up into four squares. You use each group or each square, you pick a focal point, a person within that quadrant of the room. That individual you're going to focus on, but you're going to look to those quadrants as a speaker while you're speaking. Hmm. Now, as you begin to rotate around the quadrants, what starts to happen is exactly what happened to me. See, from a distance from stage or being from a distance, people think that you're looking at them. You ever had the experience where you wave at somebody and you're waving at somebody that's like three persons away, but the two people in front are like, oh, hey, hey. And you're like, no, no, no. Um, I was actually just waving to the person. I don't even freaking know you. Why are you waving to me? I was trying to talk to the person behind you. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so we have this weird perception from our audience. So as a speaker, you can create bigger movement in your people if what? If you four square the audience, put them into four squares, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and in those four squares, look to a point of reference while you're speaking and the group will feel like you're speaking directly to who? Directly to him and or her. And when you do that, you create bigger movement and action towards the action that you're committing to in that process of the presentation. Does that make sense? Okay, fantastic. There was your tip of the week when it comes to speaking. My name is Garrett J. White, reminding you to be real, be real, be relevant, and most importantly, to be authentic.